All right, so I have been gone for a substantial amount of time at this point. And truth be told, it's because I've been having an amazing year. There hasn't been a single bad day in 2024 for me personally. And so many great things have been going my way. And because of that, I think whatever supernatural powers that may be, saw this and was like, let's bestow upon you all this negative karma. And so for the past week, I have just been bedridden with a terrible cold, but now I'm fine. So I am now returned and I'm going to continue to make videos for all of you. But what I will say is there's a silver lining for me being bedridden and it's all the shows I was able to catch up on. And one of the shows I was able to get to is in my opinion, a goddamn waste of time. Because the when I sat down to watch Golden Kami for the first time, not only was I entranced by sort of the presentation of the show with its time period for its unique premise, but the fact that I was able to sit down and forget about my troubles that I was dealing with, my personal suffering, to watch this amazing story unfold, is why I feel like this is a perfect show to watch. And if you're in between shows, I know this season has been incredible with its output, like you're having all the continuing shows like um, Undead Unluck, while having amazing shows like Solo Leveling, and the fact that you have to wait weekly for amazing shows like these to return. Watch the show in the meantime, because there are three seasons and Golden Kami is sort of a perfect balance of what I think everyone wants when it comes to a serious, a more serious anime. And the perfect example I can bring up, I can bring up two examples. The first is more of a retro anime that did get a reboot um, actually this year, or last year, I guess, because it's 2023. And that's Rurini Kenshin. And I, the reason why I bring, bring this one up is because it's very similar to the way it stylizes the different time periods. And watching the show, it did give me a lot of references, references to that in terms of you learn about the history of Japan and who was in power and what events were unfolding. And then the second thing for me, and the big one, is Vinland Saga. This has so many similarities to Vinland Saga, and I mean that in the best way possible. So if you liked either of those shows, or if you want just a break from, you know, every single isekai that's being released every season at this point, or any shonen show, or even just the rom-com genre, because I, even I need a break from time to time when it comes to rom-coms. I would check out Golden Kami because it's just an amazing adventure and it's very unique. And I cannot stop singing praises of the show because um, the more that I think about the show, the more I think about the way that um, sort of just how morbid and how like out there it can be at times where it literally feels like you're watching a Jojo reference unfold in Golden Kami um, or like a Baki reference. Um, the more I keep watching this, I just, I, I love it. And I, I, I think the biggest crime against the show personally is the fact that not many people are talking about it. And I think that's, that's just the whole of it. I just wanted to talk about Golden Kami because it helped me get through a terrible cold. And um, yeah also motivated me to step up my game. As you can see behind me, I added some, um, you know, some foam um, panels to help with the audio. So hopefully the audio sounds better. I've been working on improving my editing a little bit. And it's all because of, you know, shows that I keep discovering like Golden Kami and really wanting to share that with all of you because I think that the more people that talk about these amazing shows, we can get maybe more of these shows in the future than you know, some of the more generic um, things out there. So um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to get that off my chest. If you're wondering about Kakarobachi, I have not stopped doing that. Again, I was out of commission for the longest time. I will be catching up with it. Five chapters, baby. Five chapters coming up, um, potentially Sunday or Monday, whenever I get to finish editing that. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, friends. I just wanted to make this quick video talking about, I don't know, just talking, you know, just showing that I'm not dead. I'm I'm still very much here. I haven't been isekai'd yet, um, although I wish I could be, but 
that's a whole nother conversation for another day. Yeah.